Hi, welcome back to a new video series on my YouTube channel on system software and compilers. In this video series, I will discuss various topics related to system software and compilers. As an introductory video, in this video, I will discuss what is system software, how system software differs from application softwares, and what are the examples for system software and application software. First, we will see what is the definition of uh, system software. System software consists of a variety of programs that supports the operation of a computer. That is, whenever we buy a new uh, hardware, maybe it is a mobile or a computer, we cannot use that particular mobile or a computer that is a hardware directly. We need some sort, sort of software which helps us to use that particular uh, hardware. That is what is the main uh, uh, task of system software. What system software does is, it helps us to use the computer or any hardware you can see. Some of the examples for system softwares are uh, operating system, compilers, assemblers, microprocessors, loaders and uh, linkers, debuggers, text editors and so on. So these are all the examples for system software. Without this particular uh, system software, we will not be able to use the computer or you can say that any hardware. For example, uh, if you want to uh, write a C program, uh, you can write a C program, but uh, if you want to compile that particular C program on the top of hardware and uh, run that particular thing on the top of hardware, we need a system software. Uh, to compile, we need a compiler. And if you want to run that particular uh, compiled program on hardware, we need what is that called as operating system. Without these things, we will not be able to use the hardware in this case. Similarly, if you want to uh, convert your assembly language program into machine understandable language, we need what is that called as the assembler. The same thing goes with the microprocessor, loaders, linkers, debuggers and text editors. These are all uh, fall under the system software category in this case. Now we will try to see the difference uh, between system software and the application software. As said earlier, uh, system software is a collection of programs that helps user to interact with hardware components efficiently. Uh, application software is again a collection of programs written for a specific application. For example, a banking application, browsing, let us say that we have some different browsers, they are nothing but the application softwares. Uh, MS Office is again an application software here. Coming back to the second difference, System software controls and manages the hardware and hence it directly interacts with the hardware. Application software uses the services of system software to interact with the hardware components. So that is the uh, very important difference between system software and application software. System software directly interacts with the hardware. Application software take the use of system software to interact with the hardware components. To write a system software or you can say that if you want to develop a system software, the programmer needs to have a knowledge of architecture and hardware details. Uh, without those uh, particular details, a developer cannot uh, develop any system software. But when it comes to application software, uh, to develop application software, the, uh, the programmer or a developer need not to know or need not worry about the architecture and hardware details here. Uh, when it comes to architecture and hardware details, the developer or a programmer should be more familiar with the architecture, instruction formats and addressing modes. Uh, here there is no need of uh, such things when it comes to application software here. Because of all these things like uh, the developer should have a knowledge of architecture, instruction format, addressing modes and so on, development of system software is a complex uh, task. Compared to system software, development of application software is relatively easy. I cannot say that uh, development of application software is easy. Compared to system software, development of application software is relatively easy in this case. Coming back to the last difference, that is uh, the example for system software and uh, application software. And the examples for system software I have already listed, like uh, operating system, compiler, assembler, and so on. When it comes to application software, the reservation system, uh, banking software, MSO Word, any multimedia applications like VLC player, 
uh, Windows Media Player or you can say that uh, the browsers all these things fall under this application software category in this case so in this video I have given a brief introduction about uh, what is system software how system software differs from uh, application software in the coming videos uh, I will discuss uh, the more details about the system software like uh, what are the uh, how uh, what is the architecture of uh, the hardware like SIC and SICXC then we will discuss uh, uh, assemblers like uh, how to convert assembly language program into object code and then we will discuss uh, briefly about the compilers and so on so uh, I hope the concept about uh, the system software is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching